redesign me in God's image for His glory. God loves to fight for you. Throughout God's Word, there are many confirmations that He has been fighting, is fighting, and will be fighting for His people. We can rest securely, not fearing what man can do to us, because the one who is fighting for us is the Lord of hosts, the one who reigns over heaven and earth, all armies in the natural and spiritual realm. Our victory is guaranteed when we walk according to his ways, not moving to the left nor the right. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. These verses emphasize the word of the Lord regarding him standing up to our enemies. Exodus 14 verse 14, And he said, Hearken ye, all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou King Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. 2 Chronicles 20 verse 15 Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. 2 Chronicles 20 verse 17 these scriptures are a profound reminder of God's promises to defend his people, and we can rest assured in the fact that he has never lost a battle. In the Bible, we see where God defeated Pharaoh and the Egyptian army. Then, there is Herod who dropped dead, with maggots eating him up instantly. These are only two examples of the hand of God intervening on behalf of his people. I don't know about you. But I'd rather have the God who sees and knows everything doing battle for me. We are given a glimpse of God's surveillance system in Isaiah 37 verse 28. But I know thy abode, and thy going out, and thy coming in, and thy rage against me. I don't need to be convinced. I'm all in. God, you fight for me, and I'll be still. These well-chosen scriptures show the battle is not ours. It is the Lord's. We are going to make it. We are not going to fail. God is with us strong to take us to a place of victory. And blessed be the Most High God, which hath delivered thine enemies into thy hand. And he gave him tithes of all. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will shew to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. And took off their chariot wheels, that they drave them heavily, so that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. The Lord your God which goeth before you, he shall fight for you, according to all that he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. Ye shall not fear them, for the Lord your God he shall fight for you. Know therefore today that he who goes over before you as a consuming fire is the Lord your God. He will destroy them, and subdue them before you. So you shall drive them out, and make them perish quickly, as the Lord has promised you. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you, to fight for you against your enemies to save you. For the Lord thy God walketh in the midst of thy camp, to deliver thee, and to give up thine enemies before thee. Therefore shall thy camp be holy, that he see no unclean thing in thee, and turn away from thee. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. The eternal God is your dwelling place, and underneath are the everlasting arms. And he thrust out the enemy before you and said, Destroy. 
and there was no day like that before it or after it, that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man. For the Lord fought for Israel. And all these kings and their land did Joshua take at one time, because the Lord God of Israel fought for Israel. And the Lord discomfited them before Israel, and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon, and chased them along the way that goeth up to Betharon, and smote them to Azekah, and unto Makeda. And ye have seen all that the Lord your God hath done unto all these nations because of you. For the Lord your God is he that hath fought for you. One man of you shall chase a thousand. For the Lord your God, he it is that fighteth for you, as he hath promised you. They fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord sabbath not with sword and spear. For the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. He delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. And he said, Hearken ye, all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou King Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And the fear of God was on all the kingdoms of those countries, when they had heard that the Lord fought against the enemies of Israel. In what place therefore ye hear the sound of the trumpet, resort ye thither unto us. Our God shall fight for us. He delivereth me from mine enemies. Yeah, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. Our God shall come, and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. Psalm 50 verse 3 Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. Psalm 83, verse 1. For thus saith the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest shall ye be saved, in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength, and ye would not. For thus hath the Lord spoken unto me, like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his prey, when a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voice nor abase himself for the noise of them. So shall the Lord of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion, and for the hill thereof. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also he will deliver it, and passing over he will preserve it. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver thee. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us?